Communicate with clients easily with shared folders by Deanna Troop. This video is going to be the first in a series of videos about tools virtual assistants can use in their business. So let's dig in. In this video, you will learn how to communicate with clients using shared folders. Managing a project that requires a lot of back and forth of files is a harrowing experience. Email works for the first round or maybe two, but after that it quickly gets out of control. You're working on version C while your client is already on version E and soon important revisions and notes are lost. A better way to work from a single document is to simply add files to a shared folder. This way, as you or your client make changes, they'll appear in real time, leaving no doubt about which version anyone has or what changes were made when. There are several players in the folder sharing market, making it easy to find one that will work not only for you, but for your clients as well. We're going to just focus on two services right now. We will be discussing Dropbox and Google Drive. A favorite in the shared folder race is Dropbox. The simple setup and generous amount of free storage space, which it comes with two gigabytes, makes this a top choice for many people, even if sharing files isn't on their mind. If you work from multiple computers, need access to files on your mobile phone or iPad, or just want the extra security of knowing your important documents are backed up in the cloud, then Dropbox is a good option. The free version includes two gigabytes of storage space, which is plenty to get you started. You can even earn more space by tweeting about Dropbox, referring friends, and connecting other applications. You can also upgrade to 100 gigabytes for around $10 a month. And that is the current price as of the recording of this video. The link for current pricing will be under this video. Google also has its own document sharing system. Formerly known as Google Docs, Google Drive now operates similar to Dropbox in that you can view your files in a folder on your computer. However, opening a file requires a web browser and the use of Google Apps. If you want to edit a spreadsheet in Excel, you'll have to download Excel first. You could also download a free software suite called OpenOffice to edit these documents on your computer without using the internet. There will be a link to OpenOffice in the description section listed under this video. Google Drive offers more free space than Dropbox does, starting out with 15 gigabytes. Upgrades are also less expensive, with 100 gigabytes being available for just $1.99 a month. And the link for current pricing for Google, if you want to upgrade your Google Drive, will also be in the description section. One noteworthy difference between Dropbox and Google Drive is how files are stored. With Dropbox, files exist both on your computer and in the cloud, meaning you can work on them without an internet connection. As soon as Dropbox detects a change to a document, it syncs the new version with that on the Dropbox server. If you and your client are both working on a file at the same time, this can result in a conflicted copy showing up in your Dropbox. Google Drive is different in that only one copy of each file exists. When you're working on a file, you're actually editing that file on Google server. You can see this in action if you have a file open that your client is working on. You'll be able to watch as she makes changes. There are a variety of other file sharing services available as well. And chances are your clients will have their own preferences, so you'll likely use several in your business. Dropbox and Google Drive offer two simple solutions for collaborating with others or just sharing files between computers. Now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Also make sure to click on the bell to get notified when I post new content. And remember, do all this stuff. Thank you.